All right, so we are on the floor unboxing a box from Big Bad Toy Store. I don't do this all the time. I'm wearing glasses indoors. It is what it is. Let's just get let's just get to it. These are actually Master Roshi glasses, according to Hot Topic. These are Funko Pop. Well, it came in a Funko Pop box with a Trunks Pop, and you had a one of six chance of getting a Chase. I actually got one. I ordered two of those boxes, got a Chase, and got a normal release, which is pretty lucky for me because I don't ever get any Chases. And they came with these uh, very cheap dollar store glasses. But we're going to rock it anyways in this video. Uh, we have a Big Bad Toy Store pile of loot box. And I'm trying to fit myself in frame. But anyways, this is about the box. So if you don't see my face, then it is what it is. You don't have to. Uh, let's get right into it. I don't want to make this video too long. Alright, so let's get started here. We have a Dragon Ball Super Broly movie. Uh, Super Saiyan Goku, Son Goku. Uh, this is the God form. Second release of this form of Goku. If you want to count the Whis. Uh, suited Goku, then uh, yeah, that was on the 1.0 body. This is the 2.0 body, uh, releasing with a $35 price tag, which is very nice for us. HP rights, just like the Saiyan race on Earth Goku. So I like that they did that, uh, and I see some uh, ease, some creases on the uh, on the blister. It's all right. It's not the worst thing ever. This is of course gonna be for my mint on card collection. Any of you guys that follow me. Uh, know that I have a complete set of Dragon Ball SH figures in the box and a complete loose set too. So I do get the Japanese releases to unbox, display, and review for you guys. And then I, I get the US releases later on because I could be patient with that. I don't need that right away. Uh, I guess we'll continue on with Dragon Ball Super. We have the uh, Vegeta release. So we have uh, Vegeta in the new 2.0 body. These reviews are out by the way. And I guess I should be showing them a little bit closer. But... Um, you should know what this looks like anyways. Here it is. Um, yeah, reviews of these are all out already. Uh, so check out. I did those uh, months ago, weeks ago, I don't know when. Um, but those are up. Now I have the China exclusive. I think this is the Hong Kong exclusive Dragon Ball Soup. No, not Dragon Ball Super. This is just regular Dragon Ball. We have Boma in her different color. We have a purple hair. The variant this time around and I had to get it of course I had to get a second one too this was only limited to one per person though so I had to order one just now and hopefully I can order another one I don't know if they'll they'll see that I've ordered one before but I definitely got to get a second one to open or to keep in the box so once to open once to keep in the box obviously and uh, it's in no particular category so the next thing I found in the box is a 80th anniversary Iron Man and this is actually something I've been waiting on. I wasn't really aggressive to get this early. I could have but I didn't. A lot of my stores locally had them and I just didn't hunt them down. Um, I was just, I put it to my pile of loot and I was like whenever I ship it, I ship it. So I'm definitely going to review it though because this is my favorite character even though this is a late review. It's going to be a better late than never review for sure. But uh, I've heard great things about it and it looks wonderful. It's actually two. One to keep on ice in the card and the other one is to uh, open up and display of course. So I don't have autofocus on right now so if it's blurry at times then I do apologize. Uh, going on or continuing on with 80th anniversary we have Thor. So I obviously have reviewed this Thor a while ago. That review is up too. Um, so make sure you check that out if you haven't done so already and this is a phenomenal Thor too. This I got to keep on ice as well. I think I'm only going to keep uh, Mint on Card, Iron Man, Thor, and Cap. I don't think I'm going to go to the two packs. It's just too much. I'm trying to, lim uh, blah, blah. I'm trying to limit myself with the Mint on Card stuff. You know, I've, I've come to the point where I'm like, yeah, I don't really need to keep it in the box. I just need one to open for myself. Now, when it comes to Dragon Ball SHP, of course, that's a totally different story. I gotta get that in the box and loose. I'm sorry. But with Marvel Legends, uh, yeah, I'm kind of cutting back with Marvel Legends. I had a lot of Legends mail on card that I had loose, and I'm just like, you know what, man, this is just money laying around. I don't need it in the card. I just need it loose. So, But there are some exceptions, like this right here, like that Iron Man right there. I do have a couple of the other uh, Legends. Here's one in Reach. I have Cable still in the box just because I love this figure. I have the Thing, the Walgreens exclusive Thing still in the box, and one loose. So there's some exceptions here and there. Um, I'm just not as crazy about it like before. Uh, so yeah. 
Next up, we have a Mesco Toys PX exclusive. We have Sovereign Knight Batman. This is in that classic blue and gray color scheme with the big yellow logo just like that on his chest. So there it is. Uh, definitely a must cop. And I'm late on it, but it is what it is. I got it. Patience pays off. I'm a little patient now. I can do reviews on them too. If you guys are interested, let me know. I know there's plenty of reviews out there, but hey, you're hearing it from me. It's a different review. Why not? But you guys want to know what I think of it? Let me know if you guys want me to review it. But here we have, there we have the X-Men Storm. She almost tried to fly away there, but she could not get away. We have our classic 90s Storm completing our team. And I, this is my second one. Of course, I did review her already. I got to keep one on ice. And I obviously, as always, get a bad card. Uh, so it is what it is. Uh, and her, her nose is smushed against the plastic too. But uh, there's Storm. I do have the others on the card. And these are a must uh, cop to keep in the card because they look awesome in this retro card. This is the main reason for this is the nice vintage retro looking card. So... That's me. Some people don't care about it, but that's me. All right, I got the full entire wave of Windigo here. So Windigo wave, old news now at this point. But uh, this was just to uh, build the build a figure and to open up uh, a few of these figures that I uh, I still need to open. So I only reviewed Nightcrawler from this wave. I wasn't really motivated to review the other ones. Uh, to be completely honest, I've been a little burned out lately. That's why you haven't seen me review too much like crazy like before I'm gonna get back on it. Don't worry about it But uh, sometimes you just got to take a break from things So that's what I kind of did and not a lot of people missed me anyway, so it wasn't a Hello, big deal darkness, so, uh, I didn't get any complaints at all. Nobody was like, oh, where are you at man? I've so, come to talk all good. We have Guardian. Again. We have Boom Boom uh, And then we have uh, Cannonball and Mr. Sinister So Sinister is awesome Definitely should have reviewed him because uh, he definitely is a cool looking figure. But uh, but yeah, cool looking figure. Overall, it's a good wave. I like this wave. Um, even though uh, Boom Boom and Guardian are my least favorite just because they're my least known. It doesn't mean they're horrible. Uh, another SH figure rights, we have Gogeta. This is Super Saiyan God, uh, Super Saiyan Gogeta from the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie. So this was reviewed by me a long time ago. This is... This actually went into my pile of loot right after I shipped my previous pile of loot. So it's been like three or four months, to be honest. I don't know. I could be wrong. But it's been a while. And, uh, yeah. So that just got here. Totally patient on that. That's from my Mint on Card collection as well. And finally, uh, this Hulk is phenomenal from what I've seen. And now seen it in person. Yeah, it's awesome. This is definitely one of the best Hulks out there. And I can't wait to open it. No, I see. You probably won't be able to see it. There is like a... The plastic is like chipped off on his ab. I don't know, man. It's in the box. I haven't touched it yet. And it's got some quality control issues in there that I don't like. So whether or not I'm going to get another one. I might get another one, though, just because of that Hulk. I got to get a nice, perfect looking Hulk. We all do, right? This Wolverine's not too bad anyways, even though it's not my favorite looking uh, design for him. He's just uh, sporting the same body that we've seen before. Just a different face sculpt. But overall, this box... I like the classic retro pictures there. That's awesome. The back's got a comic cover and some read-ups with some classic pictures too. That's cool, man. I like the box stuff like this. See, this is what makes me want to keep these in the box. Where's my Thor at? Where's my Iron Man at? There it is. They're just awesome to see. Like, see adult collectors, man. Look at that art. I like it, man. I like it. So, yeah, I don't know whether or not I'm going to get... In. This is this is like 50 bucks. So, I think these are more. Yeah, no, they're 50. So, uh, yeah, they're, they're not cheap. If I find another one on clearance, then I might maybe keep one in the box. But right now, I'm not in a rush to have one sitting around in the box. So, no big rush. And I'm leaving the biggest one and the most expensive one for last. So, let's check it out. Any guesses? I'm sure some people that follow me on Instagram already seen it because somebody asked me about it. They saw the Hot Toys logo. It's a Hot Toys figure. I'm not a Hot Toys collector, nor I'm not going to become one. Not even close. Uh, but the heads get this, man. I'm a gamer, and PS4 Spider-Man game was phenomenal. Game of the Year. One, well, nominated 
in my opinion, for Game of the Year. Whether it's going to win or not, I don't know. Because there's a lot of other awesome games out there. But definitely deserves a nomination. If you have not played PS4 Spider-Man, I highly recommend it. I don't know what you're doing. But you need to get on that. It's, it, you def it definitely deserves your attention for the... I don't know how long the game is. 8, 10 hours, maybe more. There it is. PS4 Spidey. So I'm not going to go crazy with Hot Toys. This is $250, man. That's expensive. But it's a big doll. It's a big figure. Uh, highly detailed. It's the best looking PS4 Spidey figure out there. Of course, probably going to be the only best looking one. Until Figure is, is coming out with one. I did pre-order that. for So for a 6 inch figure, let's see if that's a decent one. I mean, the Marvel Legends one was okay for me. It's not the I could have been better to be honest, but um, hopefully figures will will beat that one out. Can't be too hard to beat. And then, uh, but yeah, video game masterpiece. I like that. Yeah. So the box was cool. I did pre-order the Punk Rock Spider-Man from the PS4 game and Scarlet Spider, the Ben Riley one with the uh, the blue hoodie. That was so beautiful when I saw those pictures. I, I was like, that's the one that really convinced me to like. You know what? I'm going for these. That Scarlet Spider. I was like, if I'm getting Scarlet Spider, I gotta get the other one. So, I figured if I open it and I'm not digging it within like a month of it sitting on the shelf, I'm gonna sell it and not even get into it. So, I figured the risk wasn't too high. I know it's 250 dropping it now. But, uh, I think I'm gonna like these. I think I'm gonna like these. So, I don't know if I'm gonna review this. You let me know if you want me to review this big old figure. Uh, that's it for this unboxing. Hope you guys enjoyed. It's not uh, something I normally do, but if you did enjoy it, I definitely can do it again on my next pile of loot. I'm always adding things onto that thing and shipping it at the very last second when they when they pretty much tell me you gotta ship these things already. We're tired of holding it. So you have like three months and then you gotta ship everything. Or you gotta ship uh, the thing that's been there the longest you don't technically have to ship everything but that's the point of the pile of loot is to ship everything with the four dollar shipping price tag so why am i only going to ship that one thing right uh yeah so thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed that it's just the guy on the floor wearing shades indoors nothing too crazy nothing too out of the uh, ordinary there and i uh, hope you guys enjoyed like comment subscribe and i'll catch you on the next one bye Crispy.